Yeah. Alright folks, welcome to the Besides Our Own podcast. Better turn the mic to review it. That'll be fantastic. About there will be fine. Uh, we've got live guests in the place. We've got Sean Evans. Alright, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man, I'm doing good. And we've got Craig in here as well. How are we doing? Alright. Yeah, <laughs> that <Another> question. <laughs> Every single podcast. <laughs> is there any other answer that you would ever no. give? <laughs> no, really. It's just uh, well, I'm it's heavily depressed. Formality. <laughs> we've got, we've come to a common problem where uh, actually starting the podcast is about a pain in the arse. Get, actually getting to the beginning to the intro part is a fucking pain in the arse. Right. Then ending. Then ending because you have to say bye and then you have to like wait a wee bit here. and then they're still here and then you have to say bye when they leave. It's, like, it's, it's an absolute pain. But uh, we've got Martin Soroka in. Instead Bonjour. of Jake, Jake Bain, you can probably see Jake Bain in the live bit. Bones I thought he was coming up. <laughs> there you go. Tell my <laughs> <laughs> okay, lean forward a wee bit. Ah, right. Perfect. Loudness. Perfect. Cool. <laughs> well, a friend that said that Jake was the hot one in the band. Aye? Uh, Who said this? Ronnie. Ronnie? Uh, she thinks Jake's the hot one. Right. She thinks. Aye. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Jake would agree with that? Do you think? I, I think he probably would agree with that. <laughs> he's one char- charismatic motherfucker. <laughs> but that's obviously uh, Jake couldn't make it tonight. He's got some kind of uh, family stuff to deal with. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Martin and Sean. So we're going to talk about kind of you've got a new tune out. I didn't. I just realised today you had a video out for this. Yeah. Just video. seen it. Like I think it was about tea time. Right. I recognise. I've uh, seen all the kind of strobe lights and stuff. Was that done live, <laughs> like in, in the actual studio, or was um, that done an after? Uh, the, no, the strobe light was live, aye. Oh, it, was, uh, it was actually manned by Jake's wee brother. Right, so nice. just turn it on and off. <laughs> <laughs> that looked insane, man. I, I felt bad for epileptic people aye, as same. it happened, because that's, that's an absolute killer for cunts, man. I've not seen it yet, so... Have you not know, seen it yet, no? You've not seen it? <laughs> no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know what, actually? Oh. Oh, oh, You're as oh, bad oh, as him for wow, material that we do. Wow, I'm confounded. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's upset. You're out. But that's I purposely it. didn't listen to your podcast because my voice. Oh, because is your voice is in it. Awful. No, that's it. Where I'm sure. I'm sure. You, are you used the same. We. No. Music's a bit different, I suppose, though, because if you're singing, it's a kind of different idea. But it's a bit different when you're also recording it and mm-hmm. mixing it because you kind of have to. Oh, like yeah, you so I mix the thing. song. I, I mix my music all the time, so I have to hear my voice, and I'm mm-hmm. used to it now. Actually, in oh. fact, I'm very good at scrutinising my voice, and, and oh. more, more recently, I'm been training myself to sing a bit better because I'm. I'm God See, I'm good help. at pointing out flaws in my voice, mm-hmm. but I'm just not very good at anything about it. Uh. That's what I feel. Well, that's the first step, man. Eh? The first oh, steps yeah. realizing. One of the flaws in your voice. One of the flaws you you've said in your voice is like that kind of basic and kind of overall kind of punching but it's sound also you've high. got. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Quite high and whining. Too oh, basic, yeah. too high. Oh, you kind of get. You've weird. Kinda... I've got like a mutant voice. <laughs> you've got a mutant moany kind of. And then I speak too fast. Oh, yeah, that's... and it's just muddled, and I'm not very good at speaking in the first place because I'm thick anyway. You see how fast you see that, you need to calm down. Exactly. You slow yourself down a bit. Fucking shit. That's it. No wonder the guest can't fucking understand you a lot of the time. Uh, this is terrible. Uh, you should practice your Dory Misa. Go with Dory Misa. That's actually a really good point. <laughs> there you go. Uh, go for it. Every t- <laughs> do it right now. I'm Just gonna die. do it. Bring out the inner Julie Andrews in there. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Go on, Craig. No, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not. It's just not happening at all. So you've got a. You said you had a test pressings the other day. How are you? Aye. How are you feeling with that? You said you. You said you had a, you had a problem with mixing to vinyl or something like that. You're saying. Oh, I, I had before? apprehension about it because mm-hmm. I'd never done it before. Um, well, basically, um, just to make it all clear, uh, we released the music video. That song's going to be released on seven inch vinyl on the fourth of June, mm-hmm. uh, and we've got a gig in Edinburgh at Banshee Labyrinth where we're going to be releasing that um, mm. I've got the test pressings for the vinyl and I'm like super fucking excited about it because <laughs> uh, like, I've never had my music on vinyl before I collect like vinyls and I just love them they're just great um, just great way to listen to music um, but no they do they sound really good I, I was scared though because like I say I never mixed for vinyl so I, I checked up on some things that I need to do there's a couple of mm. differences from uh, well there's quite a few differences from mixing for digital and I just Kenny was a bit scared that maybe I hadn't done enough. And I was expecting to become like some mess. But no, they sound good. They sound really good. I, I had no idea that you had to mix differently for different Yeah, definitely. Things. Um, well, good, cause I guess vinyl... it makes sense when you think about it. Aye, uh, different but mediums. If you didn't think about it... Th- it's more to do with the, um, the master engineer who cuts the 
the lathe, I think I said that wrong, but the mm. um, use the lathe to cut the the uh, master disc. Mm-hmm. Technical terms, mm-hmm. I do not fucking have a grasp of it at the moment. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, because he pretty much decides, he or she decides the sort of overall volume of it. If you've got your mix like limited to the max, like how you would do with digital music mm-hmm. when you're, well, you shouldn't really, but what a lot of people do with <laughs> digital music is they just have it all maxed out. Well, oh. when he puts that into the master, he's going to actually turn that down because otherwise it will damage his equipment because it's all very mm. delicate. So then, yeah, through trying to get your mix louder, you actually end up with a quieter mix and think, stupid things like that that mm. happen with analogue that are different from the digital one. No, so you have to kind of like roll back on the limit or uh, you have to mono your bass frequencies because otherwise you get stereo bass frequencies that make the needle go for left and right like <laughs> like a mad snake and that will cause skips in your vinyl. Ah. Fuck. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Some technical There's a lot more. A lot more. And how much of that did you understand, Steve? No, no name, but I, I like watching Sean as he's talking technical <laughs> stuff. Uh, I like seeing it coming from his mouth. It's uh, quite fun to listen to. It is. It is. So, Martin, uh, what was, was, was you who played the band? Bass. Bass. Mm-hmm. Excellent. How long have you been doing that? Since, what, two and a half years? About three uh, years now. Mm. Yeah. Uh, he played kind of loads of instruments. Like, I can, a lot of people kind of play loads of different stuff. Uh, you just stuck to bass, or you done like? A whole I was I was given bass. Uh, like mm. when I was fourteen, uh, one of the band's friends of the enemy, like a school band, mm-hmm. they lost their guitarist, who's also a very good accordionist at the moment. Right, right. Um, so I was given a bass and told how to play it a wee bit, like. And I play it really badly, I have to say. I have been playing it really badly. Not in, true. In a sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's uh, at the moment I'm working on like virtual media DJ stuff as well. All right, fuck I. So, this kind of stuff. Yeah, like mixing music together, mm-hmm. uh, putting wee tracks. I've got a wee music video going. Well, a wee show. Sean's seen it already. That's that's nice. Well, what, what what kind of things this? What's that? It's basically like <clears throat> I've got a. A film that was in, like, Mad Max 3. Oh, yeah. Like, in the new one. Mm-hmm. Or whatever it is. And I've not seen that, but I can't remember that. Yeah. That's a good film. I've taken yeah. out the start and the end, so there's no spoilers. Right. And I've mixed, like, Dead Mouse and five other tunes to it. Mm-hmm. So it all sort of follows a story, and it makes its own story itself. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of, like, some of it's a bit uncanny how it all happens. Like, <clears throat> there's, like three transitions from day to night to day mm. and like on one of the transitions one of the song ends and it's a new song on the other one it's like fade in fade out and it's like all oh, the bass is going and it's, it's really fun yeah. Yeah. Um, I have no idea how it happened like I was just <laughs> <laughs> so you never done any work or you just kind of let it happen basically I, I just let say. things happen man. Oh. that's where it goes <laughs> that's the most artist saying it it's like oh I just let it happen it just yeah. comes from the uh, from the eyes I do it it's brand <laughs> It's amazing. Just opened my arms and accepted it from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so, amazing just hearing people saying that stuff. So um, it, 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 is that released? Have you got that? Can it's that? fifty minutes, and I can't release it because because it's a film copyright. Yeah. Oh, right. But also, it's not illegal because well, mm-hmm. maybe because it's an unreleased film. However, <laughs> because it isn't like because I don't record it, I do it live every time. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is no such recording of it, so it's just right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. like live, live mixing. So, mm-hmm. so that's how that works. I oh. suppose. I was thinking so could, it's like a performance. Huh? <coughs> oh. That is, eh? That is it's like dancing with my you laptop. You need to get this performance uh, Out there. lived. Yeah, lived. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You, oh, you don't. Yeah, you performed it live yet? Not publicly. No. Nah. Uh, I was going to do something at the venue. Mm-hmm. Good old metal Swanbury me- uh, venue. I'd come do for that man. Fuck I. Mm. I think we'll sit out. At some yeah, point, we, we need to actually. Uh, yeah. Honestly, it would be good. Your tour manager person as a <laughs> also hosts at the we'll venue. We'll cover the set for this because you do. Uh, <laughs> there's a slight laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he he does events at the venue and that, and it's yeah. all just a case of me getting my finger out and doing the artwork and that for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Setting that up. That's excellent, man. Aye. Excellent. Be good. Well, there was a slight laugh there. We have to get <laughs> I to. Was, <laughs> uh, I, I, I totally forgot <laughs> Brian Gray was yeah. your tour manager. I totally forgot I mean, that as you were talking about it. Basically, he's been helping us. Basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. He's a, he's a close friend that helps 
I mm. won't. Um, but uh, I just thought it was funny calling him a tour manager. Good, good official name. <laughs> kind of, right. kind of yes. Yeah. I will. Hey, if, if anybody's asking, then they're like the oh. official documents. Mm-hmm. He's the tour manager. Right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but just, we, we've had them up a few times. We had them up to sort of doing his own kind of solo podcast with us, and then we've done like, a wrestling podcast with him. Mm, and uh, do you ken Gary Ballantyne? Yeah, no, I, don't no, I thought I'd do. Sorry, Gary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, rubbish with names. It's one of Brian's pals that we right. come up and he done a wrestling podcast. I think we're going to do a lot more of them. They're pretty, pretty fucking funny uh, the mm-hmm. last time. So I, uh, he kind of broofly, broofly, briefly spoke. And that's what I was trying to say. Briefly <laughs> speak. Broofly no, no, speak. Uh, <laughs> briefly spoke the last time about then sort of tour manager stuff, and he was talking about getting in touch with different promoters. Mm. He got in touch with me, and I was like, well, mm-hmm. I kind of only know hip hop people yeah, yeah. a lot of the time. I was like, I can maybe help you out a few, but I, I think I might have only got them seven mm-hmm. or something that's, like that. But I said, there's better than fuck all, that. really. So, so, yeah, mm-hmm. aye, so hopefully that maybe helps at yeah, some yeah, point. Totally, so. yeah. And is it helping? Well, we, we've been... Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> the last few months has been kind of uh, all, all guns are go trying to organise different stuff. We had like uh, a few dates. Like, we actually had a, a date in London uh, right. that we could have booked, but then... Um, we had things got in the way, and we actually had to scrap that idea. But we had all these big plans for like a kind of wee tour of the UK. Um, mm-hmm. We scaled it down, and we've got. Well, we, we basically just went. Let's just get the single launch booked, and just do that, and we'll book that. Uh, get the vinyls done. That was the main priority, and all the artwork and stuff, and then the music video and things like that. So, um, yeah, no, like we've been mm-hmm. kind of like trying to just trying to get different dates. Uh, so we've got a few in the pipeline. I've actually got a wee secret gig. That I'm organising. That mm. <laughs> it's, kind of, oh, it's hard oh, to talk about a secret oh, gig because obviously uh, what you want is that's but, all I can say. Oh, if you get if you order the pre-order mm. of the if you pre-order the vinyl mm. uh, for the BlueCareCords.com, uh, you get a wee invite to that. But it's it's mainly going to be like a bit of private party to be honest. Uh, it's kind of a blue coup party, mm-hmm. um, mm. just some bands playing. And okay, so location. you've got bands and stuff lined up. In yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be playing and. It'll, uh, I can't say too much, but oh, yeah, basically yeah. it's just the, uh, it'll be the, the Blue Coup party. Right. Um, awesome. And awesome. I would like to invite some people, so get some pre orders in. Oh, um, fuck yeah. Man. If you pre order it, it will arrive tied to a raven's claw. <laughs> the raven's, raven's going to fly your house and drop it off. I can't, I can't so, guarantee that, but I might have a question. Do you do drugs? <laughs> I have done them. <laughs> no. Drugs do, recently. Drugs do me. <laughs> Drugs do me, yeah. Drugs do me. That's a long story, man. So That's a long story. If one of us pre orders, do both of us get an invite? Yeah, uh, well, I. Uh, I'm not, come on, I was going to say, anyway. Anyway. If, you bring right, that, well, right. if you bring that. We'll still order it because that gives us the kind of. The invite per household. Let's go with right. that. Right? That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> If you bring that jolly lady along, that is going to be speaking to you. <laughs> oh, yes, man. The thing is, we, we can't really ah, say much about it until yeah. we actually get it confirmed properly. I suppose, but I want to have it properly confirmed. Again, she, I don't know. We're talking about a guest that's going to be yeah. turning up, but oh, yeah, we can't totally. much about it. So. But, yeah, yeah, no, they're going to get a lot of work done when they're, when they're together. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh, yes. It's going to be quite cool. It's going to be cool. <laughs> so you've got, a, you've got an actual single launch set up at Banshee Labyrinth, is yeah, that Banshee it? Yeah, Banshee Labyrinth. Where about mm-hmm. is that? In Edinburgh, I've heard a few gigs happening there. It's a kind of free venue, isn't it? You could kind of... Well, it's fine, you know, but hmm. um, it's... Uh, it's a good wee venue, man. It's, it's just around the corner for Bannermans. Uh, right. It's on the same street as Whistle Binkies. Right. Uh, there's two doors to Whistle Binkies. The one that's downstairs mm-hmm. door, back door, I suppose. Right. So yeah. How yeah. my Whistle Binkies? Oh, did you just hear the word Binkies and start laughing? It's fucking such a shit. Whistle Grow Binkies. up, man. Grow up. Is it like west side? Is it it's near the by the bridges? Near the Cowgate? Ah, it's right. just... Sure. Uh, you've never been either. No. no I, I've, to be fair, I'd only been recently as well. I went mm. to go see a gig to check it out, and it was so good. Uh, it's no. so loud as well. I've actually bought like a bunch of uh, earplugs for everybody that turns up, which sounds a bit weird. Like, welcome to a gig, put these in, you do what you But no, I'm really, it would uh, probably help everybody keep the tinnitus away. Because Is it that loud? That loud? Uh, it's pretty loud. It's, oh. it's, it's small, that's the thing. It's oh, really right, small. Right, right, right. But it's, it's like a really, it's like a big living room. And it's really, mm. oh, it's awesome. I saw it. I saw a band called Dead Buttons, which I, I recommend to anybody. <laughs> South Korean band, um, right. cool guys, like, but uh, great, great music, like. Excellent, uh, good. Excellent. What's the capacity again? Sixty. 
Eighty. Eighty. Yeah, yeah, 80, 80 so very small. small. What's it? Sneaky that's pieces. Sneaky pieces. Like hundred. Sneaky pieces. Is about hundred. Just a it's, uh, it's probably the same size as sneaky pieces, but mm-hmm. it's no narrow. It's just square. Oh, that's so sneaky pieces. Weird in that sense. Uh, it's so narrow because yeah. the bars are fucking. And it's got that big mm-hmm. pillar, which is a bit annoying. But oh, I, used to I hate love that. sneaky pieces. That's good. Like, I like that we build, man. It's quality. You yeah. been to sneaky pieces? I've never been to sneaky pieces. Nah, nah, it's fucking excellent place, man. Good for gigs, though. Alright, definitely. They're easy to get in contact with as well for booting and stuff like yeah, that as well. Yeah, yeah. Pretty fucking easy. But uh, aye, so when's the single launch, man? Uh, 4th of June. 4th of June. Saturday. It's at 7 o'clock. Um, it's 7 till 10. So I, I kind of was thinking about all the people getting the train through and that. Oh, and yeah, get a train totally. back. <laughs> for, mm-hmm. uh, for Fife and back. Um, so yeah 7 to 10 at a Banshee Labyrinth and, <laughs> and I will say though Banshee Labyrinth is actually a labyrinth like the first time I went in there it was actually the Rising Souls uh, mm. album launch and then after their gig we went to Banshee Labyrinth for some drinks and I lost them the first few seconds I was a wee bit drunk I wasn't that drunk but they, they disappeared at the crowd I thought oh, any problem I'll find them at the bar oh, no. oh little did I know and I was just like I walked in the corridor and I thought oh, there's a left and a right here. You know what, I'll, I'll take a right. And then I walked through a door and I was in a cinema. And I was, there was a film, I can't remember what film it was. There was a film playing on the, the thing. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where am I? And I just instantly walked back out and then I was kind of panicking. I was like, where am I? And then I walked right. through another room, there was a bar and they weren't there. And then I walked down this corridor, a big long corridor and I found them in the corridor with all these seats. And they were like, hey, the bar's through there. And I'm like, that's not the bar I went to. And like, oh. mm. But there's a bit... I think there's maybe three bars in there, or maybe there's just two. Jesus. Right. Um, but the where are the gigs happening? It's like down the stairs to the right, and so it's one of the kind of like multiple area. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite cool. Like, like I really like, cool. I like the, th- the kind of things. Like, it's awesome, man. Yeah, I, I'd suggest going there on a night, even when there isn't mm-hmm. bands. Well, I think there's always bands playing, um, or there's some kind of music event in that room, mm-hmm. so you can always just wander a bit. And um, basically, you kind of walk into the room before mm-hmm. you're in it, and so you can kind of see what's going on before you get in no, there. Cool, like, fuck and walk past. That's cool. So you've got the can I, is it an album or just a single? You've just a single. Just a single. There's an A side and a B side, mm-hmm. uh, and with the pre-order, there's a third track. Uh, right. so we is that the MP3 thing that you're kind of handling. Uh, yeah, well, it's probably not MP3. Whatever, well, I get MP3. <laughs> it's, uh, it's on Bandcamp, so mm-hmm. you'll get when you pre-order it, you'll get three songs to download um, and two of them are going to be on the vinyl mm-hmm. one of them you'll never hear until you get the vinyl right right so you're just <laughs> not releasing that at all just keeping that there get in, the fact, vinyl. in fact pretty much only one of them you'll hear is the music video until oh. the vinyl's released and then we might um, they, I would, keep, I would, keep, I would keep it secret man I would ah, just totally yeah, keep it secret we'll keep our cards yeah. close to our chest because we've got a got quite a good wee um, I just I wonder with the with the A side and the B side does it mean that the songs on the A side are better than the ones on the B side? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, actually, if you didn't like the music video, then no, no, the, the other one's better. <laughs> well, then, well, there but yeah. hey, aye, so you've got that coming out. You've got because a, a, a lot of bands do this. They kind of they put their albums out, and then they release like all their material. There's yeah. there's never any kind of secrecy with anything that anybody does. It's fucking. It's good to see that you're actually just keeping stuff to yourselves and. Yeah, well, not yourselves, you're getting it out still, yeah, but you're yeah. not exactly no, just you're getting quite it free. Right. And in fact, we've done it before where mm-hmm. it's just like album launch, boom, and everybody's like, whoa, what? And then kind of, no. everybody's like, wait, who are you? Like, mm-hmm. what was the songs <laughs> that you've got? And I thought, well, let's do this better this time. Let's have a wee, let's have a music video for once. We've not done a music video before. Mm-hmm. And I was quite chuffed the way that turned out. It's it a bit mad. It's a bit, um, it's not like the most interesting video in the world, but I think it suits the song. It's just a bit raw and. Mm-hmm. Uh, stroby um, but <laughs> aye, aye you're quite right just, it's, it's in the studio as well isn't it yeah aye, the, that's where we recorded the song awesome, as well man. so just sorry mm-hmm. did it up a wee bit can mm. you not really <laughs> what, what, did you, what did you date it date oh just piled time. up some speakers and uh, got some lamps and right. uh, got some lights we had a guy uh, our, our friend Mark Boyd who was helping us with the video so he had a lot of good cameras and stuff and mm-hmm. uh, just got the strobe in and went mental <laughs> <laughs> pretty much I've literally just done that. So when's the single out ready? It'll be on the fourth of June as well. So so so, so on the same day. We will the there. In fact, it'll be in a, it'll be in store in Edinburgh at Audio Solutions, and I believe it's called Coda. I'm sorry if that's wrong. It's mm-hmm. the one up at the um, whiskey next door to Whiskey Rooms. Mm-hmm. It's a wee vinyl mm-hmm. CD shop. It's going to be in there as well. So they'll be stocking it on the day. 
Uh, well, if that's if I get in my bed early enough, but I, I, they'll, they'll be <laughs> stalking really cool. on the day. Did you um, not know this? No. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a new thing. Do you, do you not keep up, Martin? That, nah, to be fair, I, I just <laughs> sorted that out the other day and I've not seen much oh, since. Oh, yeah. Well, this is, this is the thing you covered the last time. You said when it's like most of the label stuff, you kind of take care of it yourself. Because you've, yeah. you've got the same thing as me where I like everything to be done myself. If anybody kind of gets involved, you're kind of like, oh, that's great, but fucking leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go on with this myself. Well, a lot of the time I, I try and get people to help me, but then I, I end up like, yeah, I end up doing it anyway. Like, well, no, for various reasons. Sometimes they're maybe not done it when I thought that we'd get it done and I've mm-hmm. got my bit done, so I'm just like, I'll just do it. And other times it's like, oh, you didn't really do that right. It's fine, I'll fix it. Or, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, it could be... Well, you, it could be as simple as like the like because I've done things in the past and I've got somebody to do someone for me and I'm like I'm, I didn't really quite like that mm, like it was good yeah. but nah <laughs> it's not exactly the way I've done it so I want that. That being <laughs> said, uh, sorry, I, I'm kind of sort of blathering on about my label here, but mm-hmm. um, that being said, I'm well aware that my website looks like a fucking five year old made it, and I've actually, <laughs> but I, I honestly couldn't believe this, right? I use this uh, website builder, I built that thing because I'm not a designer and I'm rubbish at these kind of things, right? Mm-hmm. But I just needed it done, and nobody else was doing it for me, and whatever, so I did it. Um, anyway, uh, I'm well aware it's crap. I've been thinking about changing it. I've been asking people to change it, uh, help me change it, uh, offering payment and stuff, but then just nothing really coming of it. Uh, I'll probably gonna get a few emails now. People going, "I'll do it for you." Like no, anyway. <laughs> um, I went on the website builder thing that I use, and I was thinking, oh, you know what? I'm going to have a wee look at the templates and stuff that they they've got, mm-hmm. and maybe get some ideas. They've got a brand new builder that's probably like a brand new program that they've probably been using for years. I've been using the old one that's rubbish, and I cannot believe the difference. It is just looking at it. I was like, you are kidding me. So I've actually <laughs> rebuilt the entire website almost. What finished. was the right. builder you using? Uh, Wix, Wix.com. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I've been using their old ass. I've had it for like six years now, so they've obviously just not updated mine, or right. I've not updated it rather. Mm-hmm. And I've been using the old one constantly, not aware that they've got this total brand new. No, it's weird that you wouldn't be able to. That wouldn't just come up for you. Yeah, I well, if you've got an old version, they're going to push new people towards the new Aye, stuff. That, well, I suppose think, it's right? like it couldn't. My my whole website wouldn't be able to translate over into the new program anyway. Fuck I, I, I But they've been emailing me with the updates. I can't blame them. They've been telling me like this has been added. And again, I'll go. Oh, that's a good wee feature. I'll maybe go see if I can find that. Can I find it and just sort of give up and go? Well, maybe I will have to pay more to get that. It's fine. Mm. Um, but then I'm realising it's all there. It's like, <laughs> oh my god! And so, so we're expecting like a new and updated website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So there's going to be exclusive for you. Did you go? Did you go? Fucking um, you, You've whittled it out, me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Shows the Ross. Did you see Joe? Hey, 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 hey. Is that a scene you have? I don't know. Ross who? Ross Money. Oh, Ross Money. Oh, nice. He's your pal, I reckon if he can do uh, no, so. uh, He was up actually for that uh, really terrible podcast we got with Cousin and Pal in today. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hiya, Ross. Ross. <laughs> yeah. No, that's it. We well, actually had him up today like a news podcast thing and he was alright. He was alright, yeah, kind of He got stoned and then for some reason he gets stoned and he's able to talk me. <laughs> I get the entirely opposite effect. I don't know how that fucking works, but. Oh, yeah. He came up specifically to mourn about his issue. Well, that's oh, in yeah. uh, zero hour contracts or something. Uh, no, that was pretty funny. Right. That was pretty good. But uh, anyway, fucking. So fourth of June, get your kind of seven inch single out. You've got the yeah. e- the launch, and then when's your secret thing? Or are you keeping that secret as well? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret thing. No, no, I'm you could give it a date. The secret, secret that it was a secret gig, but you secret could still location, I suppose. But it's it's, gen- it's going to be in July. Right. Um, yeah, I've got I've got a date. Uh, but I've been. I'm, to be honest, I'm still kind of so everything's pr- all right, so. right. Uh, but. <laughs> But we've got it all kind of set there. Uh, yeah, July ish. Mm-hmm. July ish. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Mm-hmm. You sh- you fourth should- rule of the secret gig. What? Fourth rule of the secret gig. Never mm-hmm. mention the secret gig. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. But you right. kind of have to tell yeah, people. You, have to, you have to advertise. It, you're, right. It's weird. I was like, yeah, so get the pre-order and we'll invite you to a secret gig. That's now not secret. <laughs> <laughs> just right now, it is not secret because you just read that. So because you you try to liken that to Fight Club. Fight Club's on every week. Sean's Sean's secret gig is only on once. <laughs> you can but, go to a fight club and then oh, it can be talked about later on. So. Like, as like I say, it's more like going to be a private party thing. Mm-hmm. So even if uh, it doesn't need to be, uh, it's going to be an invite only thing. Basically, mm-hmm. it's not going to be like a oh quick, we really need people to turn up. We're mm-hmm. actually quite lonely. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a barbecue. I don't care. There's, if no, there's, uh, yeah, that's uh, sold. So uh, 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 it's getting less secret by the minute. Uh, basically, if nobody turns up, it's just more sausages for me. Nice. <laughs> But we'll, hey. we'll have to buy this vinyl. <laughs> Basically, you're like, play it. We just need to look at. <laughs> I'm all looking nice. <laughs> we can put it up in the wall. We've got a. Uh, we've got plenty of wall. We we'll put it up in the wall. We we'll start a vinyl you're collection. A fucking a business kid. I've got them. We keep. Oh, you got. <laughs> you got business. Yeah, we'll put a stick on your. Uh, your business card there. collection is oh, our oh, business card and someone else's business, business card. <laughs> Quite right, man. Where you go? There you go, Jamin. We'll get that on the. We'll get business card board. Who's a. Who's Magic Bry? Uh, Magic Bry's a magician we had in. Uh, pretty fucking cool dude, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there on our podcast? I'll, I'll send you a link to bring this up. Sweet. Right, we're checking you. Cheers, flyers are here. This is mental. Aye. So, aye. Uh, aye. So, aye. But now I'm starting to see the hot one. The hot one. <laughs> Let's see. Jake is the hot one. He is, actually. Aye. It, sorry, lads. Sorry. Bang. To be fair, no, like, when we took that picture, I was really impressed by Martin's cheekbones. <laughs> like, he looks. Aye, aye. Uh, mm. Raw. Raw. <laughs> raw. Do work on them, eh? Okay. Martin's Rocker. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> but anyway, just want to say thanks for coming in, Lance. That's nice. Nice. Quite. Thanks, At least so hopefully we've got everything plugged. Is there anything else you want to talk about before you go? We should probably you mention someone. to all those two people and people that do music stuff mm-hmm. that, um, <laughs> that like, if you want us to play somewhere, like, we, we'd be more than happy to do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. give us a shout. We're, we, uh, I mean, looking. one of the first... The first gig that I played with them was at doing doing the fe- doing the Rabbit Hole Festival in Stirling. Yeah, it was good. Awesome place, mm, really yeah. good place. Uh, um, I keep hearing about that fucking festival, man. It sounds awesome. Then they're like, really that's good. the one that Ian was talking about, isn't it? Ah, Ian's been a good few times. So uh, I would happy to roll out and do do what we can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about this prom fest thing? Did you just not get invited to this? We're uh, oh, um, there's a, a different one. We're playing a skate comp thing. I don't know if that's even been announced yet. Or whatever, oh, right, but right. At the end of July. When's the prom fest? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah. think it's happening down at the skate park. But oh, the prom fest is different, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah prom fest just in the prom fest, like where the carnival rides and shit were. Ah, yeah. Down yeah. that kind of area. Oh, I think, is yeah. that the 1st of June? Am I wrong? Uh, I'll anyway, check, I'll I don't, check. Oh, I'm not like, like, associated with it anyway, but I've, I'm going to go to that because I, I'm, good few, I'm sure Super is playing. Aye, Super's playing. Uh, there's totally a good few other people. Joe Viterbo and Jed that we had up for a podcast that we've not released. <laughs> that uh, Jed Gillies boy. Go ahead up. He's Who? performing as well. Jed Gillies, we had him in for a podcast. Oh, we never released that. it. He's acoustic in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's good. That's it. So, Fuck it. <laughs> Can't mind. <laughs> you don't mind the dude. I totally can't mind. Fuck, Fuck me. it. Young dude. Oh, oh shit, yeah. I Jed. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible for not remembering that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So, so I, uh, <laughs> I, that's happening quite soon. So you got any gigs you want to kind of plug before you go? And pretty much we're kind of keeping. Well, well, we're trying to organise a few in the background, but really we're just trying to like uh, focus on that one. Eh? <laughs> At the moment, we've got nothing lined up until that gig. Um, no. When's it? I wonder. You- uh, well, that's another question. For <laughs> well, then you go. I should have asked. So it's definitely in the works. Oh, we've got it. Um, oh, oh, it done. Oh, it's it done. The, well, it's like ninety-five percent done. There's a couple. Uh, basically, actually, I, I've named. Uh, this is not a secret or anything, right? Mm-hmm. We've been recording this album for about a year, and we we're just. It's it's awesome. I love it. It's great. It just. It's got. We've got ten tracks. Completely recorded, apart from just a few vocal tracks. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a wee guitar here and there, maybe, but no, no, I think they're all done. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just vocals, really. Are we, um, a wee spoiler, there is one song that we cannot play at the moment live. Yeah. Right. Keep an eye on it. Although, we wrote it live. Because oh, I wasn't speaking that one. Oh, shit, right. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, oh, we can't play that one either. There's two songs we can't play. There's, there's oh, yeah, one. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, yeah, we've got that. Is that even a there's song? One, there's one Sean had a... Was it your idea? I think, um, Come on, actually, right? I, I've got to give some credit to William Mickey. Uh, me and him got incredibly high one night and we were... Uh, we used to come into my house and just get high. He's not done that a while. Hey, Willie, yeah. give me a shout. If if any of Willie's family or relatives that don't know he gets high are listening, he gets <laughs> really high. He gets really high. <laughs> With me. Well, we, I've not seen him in a while, actually, so give me a shout, Willie. But we used to come into my house and we just we just get stoned and play with keyboards and make some guy, tunes. Yeah. And that. In fact, we're recording his, um, well, 
we were recording an EP. I can't say much about that. Anyway, yeah, that, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's no the point. But there's no point saying it because there's nothing coming to that. I, no, that, was, that, was, that was years ago. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is my fight. Oh, <laughs> nah. Anyway, the point is, we were recording some tracks a while ago, and uh, I, we, I can't mean how we came up with the idea, but we we're doing phone numbers. Uh, basically, the dial tone on the phone has two notes. So, <laughs> like one, two, three is F. G G sharp right. one two three, but at the same time it also plays three other notes that escape me right now. But so it has two of them at the same time. That's why it sounds like it's a dead because it's two playing at the wrong time. But they're not in tune. They're not harm- harmonious tunes. Right. Uh, we took the numbers and basically played our phone number. So when it when <laughs> there's a seven in the number, you play one two three four five six seven. So that would be like. Uh, F G G sharp F G G sharp F G G sharp because it goes one two three four five six right. seven eight nine is just F G G sharp right that, that's how it goes um, <laughs> so then it goes like uh, I could probably play it on my phone actually right? this is the, I did this before and it was actually quite amusing right I'll try this I mean, live I mean, how was it? I meanwhile the other one that we jammed is like basically a natural jam tune we were mm-hmm. we were recording a session and like for. 10 or 12 minutes, like, we just played this omega awesome, mm-hmm. like, set. I didn't even come what it was. And the funny thing is, like, it all basically started at the same time, it all finished at the same time. Mm. And in the middle, we were just melodically in this jam. Are we kind of improv EP kind of thing? That'll be our cool oh, thing. Uh, well, that's the, that's the last track on the album. I swear to God, we were. It was a magic day that we had like a wee live session in the studio. One of the 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 bonus track you get with the pre order is from that session, but right, uh, it's not that <laughs> so, song. I was right. going to get, I was going to be that song, but then I thought, no, I'm going to save that for the album because what we did is, like he says, we just we just off the cuff played this song and it worked. It became a song. It, like the, the lyrics just flew at me. Um, <laughs> bass lines and drums all came uh, together. And we've they... got the music video planned. <laughs> we do. <laughs> no, sorry. Nah. But, um, and then afterwards, we pretty much listened to that live recording and used that to map out this 10 minute epic song. Like just kind of emulate it so we could record it in a studio setting where everything individually recorded and mm. like nice and professional sounding. And it worked. <laughs> it actually worked. And it, oh, it's really good. Um, no, it's mental. Like. All right, here we go. This is kind of how the songs I sound. Should I just mention this is no recording? This is Sean with his phone about to dial in numbers. I, I'm about to perform the song. It's, this is one of the songs for the album, but it's just not right. really a song. It's more like an interlude thing, but it goes. Uh, Something like that. <laughs> sick tune, sick tune, like. So, uh, yeah. Buy the vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. It's, uh, it sounds weird when you've got the. Yeah, it sounds uh, mental when you've got the bass, guitar, and the drums all playing it. And, uh, I should mention if anyone does decode it, like, my number's the middle one. I've since changed my number since then. Oh, yeah, so yeah. You, know, you have to make sure you all that stuff in there. It's all secret, we are. <laughs> 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 Can't believe I just performed that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was Sean, not a good representation. Sean's though. number's the first one, so decode it and game prankies. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You can yeah. change your number. Oh no, absolutely not. You're brave. Aye. Mm-hmm. Or you think your fans are stupid? I don't know. I think so. To be honest, <laughs> it's a bit of a code. Uh, it's mm-hmm. uh, it's cre- Basically, I use that sort of mathematical sort of working out to create a song which was a weird way of doing it because usually it's a creative process but this was more mm. like a mathematical process and then it's got a really good charm to it because it's quite mechanical in its nature the song it's not really a song actually it's just more like an exercise no. um, uh, it's cool it, it kind of ties the album together it's bang in the middle mm. two sides that seems pretty mental man I'm pretty excited to hear this shit Aye. Excellent number. Well, cheers for coming on lads Much right, thank, thank you very much you again are you, oh, actually, actually, are you got anything you want to say before no. you go is that right? Uh, hi, mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> if, if your mum and dad happens to be listening, you, I'll give you a uh, They listen every week, <laughs> man. They <laughs> I can guarantee that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> but aye, thanks very much. Aye, thanks for having us. Nibor at all, man. Nibor at all.